Oh, you have finals coming up. Yep. Do you have a lot? Uh, yeah, I have 18 hours. So <laughs> 18 <I> hours. <laughs> yeah. 18 hours. So what finals do you have coming up? Um, I think I got marketing tomorrow. So okay. we'll see how that goes. I do. I ha I have a bunch of papers due and like projects, but I don't really have any. I have two tests. Oh, I got a lot. Man, you got a lot. Got a lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm stressing. I got calculus two, some IT finals, and that's pretty much the biggest ones right there. Biggest yeah. ones right yeah. there, man. So what, what are you doing to get ready for those finals? Oh uh, man, it's game time right now. Yeah. So studying every day, you know, uh, to, you know, to relieve myself from the stress. I listen to me some music in between, take a nap maybe. But it's no sleep these past uh, for these two weeks, man. I actually made a homework timeline. Like I made a spreadsheet with everything that I need to do every day up right. until the end of the semester. Now, do you follow it? Not at all. Okay, <laughs> that's the answer right there. Um, taking help. Taking I'm asking help. for help. Taking help. Going through reviews. Going through e-learning stuff from the beginning of the semester and stuff. And so is that the, your hardest one? My hardest one's accounting. Accounting. Mm -hmm. Oh, that sounds hard. It's a lot of math. I think so. I would know <laughs> if I went to know. class. <laughs> what, what's the hardest test you about to take? Definitely calculus too. Calculus too. Yeah. What you gonna do to study for that one? Man, you got prepared. It's game time. Man, so I'll be at the library every day, uh, just studying for that. Be, on um, just looking through the homework, the THQs, all that. Right. Just studying, studying, studying. What will be your hardest test? My hardest test would probably be my digital marketing test or my psychology of gender test. Right. Just because it's a lot of like reading and memorizing and I'm a horrible test taker. One thing or a few things you had to tell the audience in order for them to know during these times of finals, you know, it's a lot of stress. Mm -hmm. So if there's any advice you can give the audience on how to put their stress levels down, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying, still have a good time during the finals, what would you right. say? Well, first of all, don't skip class because <laughs> it's not good to cram a whole semester in a night. Um, but if you advice. do, get a lot of Red Bull. Well, during the finals time, this crunch time, what can you do to help them relieve their stress? For sure, for sure. So I'll definitely get some study groups because yeah, you're more likely to you know, retain the knowledge if we were people who's in your class and they know the material and y'all just bouncing back and forth between each other. Also, get a lot of food, drink a lot of water, and try to get as much sleep as you can. And that's pretty much it for me. Yeah, I think my advice would be to change your major to a major that doesn't make you work hard. Facts. And then just don't do your homework. Facts. That's, that's my advice. Get it how you live, people. I have change terrible study habits. I understand, I understand. You think you're going to do pretty well on them? Hey, God willing. <laughs> God willing, man. God willing. You say your prayers, my man. Hey. A lot of Red Bull. A lot of, a lot of Red Bull. So, so you can no stay sleep. Up. No sleep. No sleep, Texas. Yes. Yep. And then just sleep after the final for like the next three days. Interesting. That's great advice, honestly. <laughs> well, one, do not skip class because if you don't <laughs> skip class, you won't need Red Bull. It's that simple. You know? Well, <laughs> I want to appreciate you for giving me this advice. Thank you, know, you for having great me. Advice and, uh,